Very fortunate to have Peter bring along some of his recordings today. Peter will give you a little bit of explanation about each one, but it's a real treat to hear them. Peter? Thank you, Kerry. Really appreciate that. And you said I, I, I quit, uh, I'm a legend, but mostly in my own mind, so <laughs> not in my own time. Um, thank you, and um, I see some familiar faces. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm not going to waste a lot of time talking, I'll just play some music, but I do want to give a little bit of an introduction to each piece I play. And uh, I won't play the entire selection of any given piece because I'd like to cover a little bit of ground. Another solo piano thing, this is a young British pianist by the name of Benjamin Grosvenor. This was recorded on the 10th of March and then he performed the same program a week later at uh, Wigmore Hall and the reviews of that recital that he gave at Wigmore, as well as the reviews of the recital, the same one he gave in Miami, were over the top. Um, arguably, he is one of the greatest pianists to emerge out of England since Hoffman. Uh, I think he's spectacular, um, and I was privileged to record him. In fact, I recorded him the first time when he was 17. He's, he and his mother spent the night at our house prior to their recital, so I've known him since he's fairly young, and he's quite an amazing, wonderful young man, and uh, he's a proud owner of a pair of uh, Sabrinas in his flat in London with his new bride, so very happy. Um, ben uh, has an incredible touch, and this is going to be a bit of Bach, and uh, it's the uh, Busoni Chacon from the Violin Sonata, transcribed by Busoni for piano. At the time I recorded her, which was about three years ago, she was 22, and her name is Megui Zhang, uh, and she's singing Con uh, Nome from Verdi. And uh, it's her voice and Ken Noda on the piano. It's, uh, it was recorded live, and what, what is interesting about this is that when a lot of audiophiles think about, you know, they want to hear a female voice on a hi-fi system, Typically what is played is somebody like a Diana Makes My Skin Crawl um, singing huskily into a microphone. That is not what we ever hear in live. The, the female voice in live, at its best in my view, is what you might hear in an opera hall or in a concert hall where you're hearing the voice in space, letting the voice be true, not be modified by a microphone pushed up next to it and equalized and processed. And I think that's what you could experience here. Not only will you hear her voice, whether you think she's the greatest uh, singer of all time, is not really relevant. It's just pay attention to the sense of her realism 
and the piano accompanying her and the space that surrounds her. is a recording I made of a choral group singing early music of their own devising uh, from Havana, Cuba, and uh, they're called Ars Longa, and I was privileged to make this recording about three years ago, and uh, what's really wonderful is there's a lot of different ensembles on the stage, and they're moving around, and what's really fabulous is how, and I'm so proud to work for a company that makes speakers that replicate accurately what I work so hard to capture is the sense of space in a recording venue. Um, there are a variety of reasons, I won't go into the technical details why we think we do it better than most anybody else, but the fact is you could hear it for yourself on this recording. There's just, everything will be clear, clearly defined as a point in space, but also the space will surround them. And I'm delighted with the Nagra electronics that are allowing us to convey all of that information clearly to your ear.
let that run on a bit because it featured a lot of different wonderful things going on.